I hate to throw a damper, but if, if David were home, I think he'd be calling instead of Mrs. Kentley. Uh, don't, don't you think, Brandon? I wouldn't know. Uh, the David I remember was polite as well as punctual. He hasn't changed. Of course, if he's not home, uh, where could he be? Don't ask me. I don't know. Might be at any number of places. Such as? The club or Bradley's party. I mean, he might have went out to Janet's. Why? Perhaps he decided to pick her up after all. I phoned my place after I spoke to Mrs. Kentley. He wasn't there? No. I left a message in case. We might have a better chance of finding out where he is now if we knew where he was this afternoon. But what, what do you think, Brandon? I have the least idea where he was this afternoon. Don't you think it would help if we found out where he was? I suppose so. I know he went to a club this afternoon to play tennis. I know he got there. Why? Someone phoned with a message that David would meet us here. Do you know who? Uh, no. Obviously, David ran into someone at the club and changed plans. Uh, you weren't there this afternoon, were you, Kenneth? No, I wish I had been. I, I don't suppose you or Brandon were, Philip. No, hardly. We had our hands full getting ready for the party. Oh, there was a lot to be done this afternoon? You know. Yes, I see. Uh, so you didn't speak to David at all today? No. Why do you ask? I thought he might have called to say he'd be late or something. He didn't. Neither Philip or I talked to David since we invited him to the party. That's odd. What do you mean? I thought I heard David on the phone to Philip yesterday morning. Brandon. Oh, I'll help you with that, Mrs. Wilson. Oh, why thank you, Mr. Cadet. Uh, th that's all right, Mrs. Wilson. You can put the books away when you come to clean tomorrow. Oh, I hadn't any idea I was coming in tomorrow. I'm, I'm afraid you'll have to. Just leave the books for there, right there for now. Well, all right. 